What's up guys, the Asim again here today we are playing Apollo in Joust with his SWC 2017 hero skin because, well, I like these types of Apollo skins. It's like the TSM one and the Curse voice one, which everyone loves for a specific reason, and you know why. Those tight jeans though, no, I'm just joking. But uh, yeah, it's a really cool skin, I really like it. I like the effects on it, I like the color of his hair, I don't know why I like that. It just turns his hair kind of white, gray, it makes him look 20 years older, but hey, I still like it, looks cool. Not really though. It, it looks more like a it looks more like bleached hair over uh, just being old. But we're gonna go for the Ichabel start here instead of going for boots, just because we're in Joust and I think it's gonna be a bit more useful than going for the Warrior Tabi a bit earlier on in the game. Get that Ichabel online, but the Warrior Tabi we're go going to get right after that, and then after Warrior Tabi we'll probably go for the Aussie. Could go for the Death or Devour's Gauntlet as well, but Devour's Gauntlet if you go that, it's, it's not the easiest thing in the world to to clear or to get the last hits and still effectively clear with Apollo in Joust because oh wow Poseidon just walked in there and stole it what a god what a god you rock, you rock. good play from him just walking in and stealing it it looks like Poseidon's also stacking so yeah oh then we're gonna take a bit of extra damage so yeah going the Ichabel Aussie starts a bit better for us and is this going just for our mana buff Oh, I think Sobek might have DC'd. That is not good. Be careful. Ogni doing. Ogni just... Okay, okay. Interesting. Kind of confused about that, but... We'll take it, we'll take it. Gonna be a little more... Or extra damage on that... Ogni. He's going back around to do it again. I mean, we stole that away too. I don't. I don't know why their team is so, <laughs> so like per persistent on getting these buffs and then not securing them. It's like they're just giving them to it. They're just handing us these buffs. Kind of odd, but it looks like Sobek's gonna come back. So we're gonna be able to get this started. Although we did have a really good start, he was not there the whole time, so we weren't able to get a kill or anything. But oh my gosh, I'm losing cop taking the damages after off of that pluck. I do have my ultimate available as well. Might actually be able to attack. See if we can get Poseidon over here. Ah, uh, they were able to get it. Poseidon can get a good Kraken. Okay, never mind. We're gonna be just out of range. Big slow from them. If we oh ooh, attack. attack. We can get this Ogni for free. There it is. Oh no, it has a sanctuary. Oh, nice pluck. He's going to be able to sanctuary the Kraken, but he's not going to be able to sanctuary our purification that pluck because you can't purification when you have the sanctuary. But really good job from my team, able to get the first blood right there against their team. And oh, what another great pluck and actually the purification being used right there. Going to be able to take that down. Oh, can I get back to base? Oh, Sobek's going to let me go back to base. Maybe that wasn't a good idea though. He might actually go down here. <laughs> he did go down. I don't think he was expected to take that much damage. Hold on. Got back to base. <laughs> Worth. Worth. Give up his life so I can get back to base. I'll accept it. <laughs> no, I probably didn't have to do that, but that's alright. Still gonna be fun, and let's see. They're going to go for this damage buff very soon. We did steal it last time. Poseidon just walked in there and stole it, and they didn't... Like, Fafnir was behind him and didn't try and do anything about it. Just kind of let it happen, so... We'll see if they decide to do that again. Alright, Poseidon's just gonna be getting his stacks online. A new Amuzin Cup just hit level 5. So we do need to worry about that. The science ultimate's back up. Ah, uh, Sobek's gonna fall here, unfortunately. I don't even know to get a Kraken off right there. I think if you, he probably could have turned around and got that off. That's okay. Might be in some trouble against this Agni, though. Who's doing some very decent damage right now, to say the least. 
Is Silva gonna try and catch someone? Fafnir's ultimate's down. Oh, behind him. Us. Got an Amuzukabu's out of mana. Oh, he's going in. He's going in. Okay, that's going to be one down at least. Not quite going to be the kill on the Fafnir though. And oh, I'm going to fall to the Amuzukab. Curses, indeed. Oh, if he can... Get this. He can get this Amuzin Cobb if he gets a good ultimate. And he's not going to be able to hold off in time. Oh, he's going to fall. I if uh, I can get... He's my ultimate here. See if I can catch this guy. There it is. It's going to be able to get the Amuzin Cobb if you decide to stay a bit too long with my ultimate. Uh, they're going to be able to get that though, unfortunately. Use a purification here. That's gonna be a bunch of ultimates from this uh, Agni being used, though. Fafnir gonna take a bunch of extra damage. Put this mana buff really quick. There we go. Go for the Aussie next item. We'll get the tier one right now. Alright, once we get this Aussie online, we're going to be able to be very annoying for the enemy team. We're going to have a lot of penetration as well as some sustain. It's going to be harder to kill. Plus, it's going to give us some more attack speed, so we're going to be doing even more damage in trades. And then I'm going to be able to get the chin size, so we'll get even more of that, ab that item once I pick that, up on pick that up after the Aussie as well with the extra basic attacks. I think after that, I'll look for some crit this game over penetration. Just get the Executioner and then go for things like, uh... Wind Demon and Deathbringer. I think they'll be good for us. And even later on, maybe selling the Malice for, uh... Or selling the Chin Size for a Malice. We maybe get Triple Crit or something. Oh, there it is! That's a ton of damage for my team. That is a Sanctuary being used from Agni, though. Good, good Meditation. I think we can get this guy. I should be going down. Nope, not going to even go down. Actually, oh, I went down to the minions. Minions got the kill on me in the end, but we ended up getting the DSI, which is good. Get some damage on this tower. Gonna be worth it. Gonna be worth it. If we had the Aussie online, we had would have had the sustain to keep ourselves alive, but fortunately did not quite yet. Here comes Al Muzin Cobb. Might actually be able to get him with a pluck. Got the pluck. I don't think Poseidon was paying attention, though, unfortunately. We'll go for the... Light blade next to get the the chin size online sooner. I can get enough for it. There we go. On my way. Have my ultimate coming in. Right oh, I'm gonna miss the ultimate. Subuck's gonna miss the pluck. Okay, well. Steal that damage buff away from them. Not let them get that for free. Get rid of that beehive. Okay. Bye. Got Amuzin um, Cobb using his his bees to the wall. I think he was just trying to zone us off right there. Poseidon's gonna go for the damage buff. Doesn't he be careful with Fafnir coming in behind him? Oh, I'm gonna go down. Amuzin Cobb's gonna go down as well, though. Actually, can they get this Fafnir? here? Not quite, it looks like. Not quite. Alright, we'll go for the Chin Size next. That Pluck's gonna be up soon. Oh, he's gonna miss it. That's too bad. Fafnir gonna take some extra damage with that Whirlpool and... Knock back with the one. I'm gonna go to the Mana Buff. Clear that out. I'm gonna get my Chin Size. Very soon. Take this Be right back. Let's so back get that. I don't need the mana buff. Be careful, middle. On my way. Ultimate is down. 
production size is a thousand away, so we're going to be in a good spot right now. It's not going to take too long. You get, of course, accelerated gold gain in Joust. And our team's wave clear is very nice. Their wave clear is really good as well, but ours is not bad, not bad. Get the stun on us. D. I'm gonna do some damage to Sobek. Finds ultimates down for a little bit longer. He's about to have it back up though, so we're going to be able to have the Kraken. Sanctuary should be up on the Agni though, which is the only problem. At least I believe so. I believe it should be up. It may not be up though. I think it is though. I think I think I saw him uh, use it a while ago, so I think he's the cooldown should be refreshed by now. Oh, there's a sanctuary. Used it a bit too early. Gonna take out the Agni. Alright, so I'm gonna go back to base. I'm trying to get aggressive without killing myself here. Okay, I thought Poseidon was going to be able to support me right there, but I guess he just didn't have the abilities, unfortunately. I'm going to pick up the Chin size because we could have taken out the Fafnir there. I do have my ultimate available, though. He'll still back to attack. We got Amuz and Cobb at least here. I don't think we can get Fafnir, unfortunately. That's okay for now, though. Oh, actually, ooh! We are going to be able to get the Fafnir. Oh, so close to getting Agni here. Oh, I'm not quite going to get the basic attack. That's too bad. Actually, Agni's going back to base. It maybe isn't going to be too bad. Should be able to get the tower here. Actually, no, Amus and Cobb's going to be spawning. Yeah, he's gonna be a bit too late. He should have just kept attacking it before the minions came in. That's all right though. We might be able to get a free kill right there. Oh, he's gonna miss the pluck. If he gets a pluck, this should be a free kill because we do have the Poseidon ultimate. Amuzin Cobb doesn't have the Sanctuary. Does have the Purification though. Interesting. He didn't use the, uh, sanct the, pur the uh, Kraken earlier. He didn't get the Amuzin Cobb though, now. Oh, needs to be able to run away though. Yeah, I do have the ultimate coming up. Be right back. Kill that buff. Go back to base. Then we're still death toll for the executioner. Sanctuary and purification. Let's see, I do have the ultimate available. Woo! Doesn't look like they decide to stay around though. They decide to go back to base. Alright, who's over there? I'm losing cops now, it's just Agni. Take a lot of damage when I'm losing Cobb. Went for the a bit more abilities. Ability based build. I'm losing Cobb. He was ultimate at me, but I was out of range. I'm actually gonna go back to base really quick. Use my ultimate to get in. Let's see. Gonna get the Agni Purification, which is good. Yeah! <laughs> Thomas and Cobb does so much damage. So if he gets a pluck. Now I'm gonna need the pluck. Besides, just gonna use his ultimate, and this guy doesn't have Sanctuary, so 
was easily taken down. I'm gonna go for the Shuriken now. Be right back. I'm gonna get the eight pointed okay. version and then the Wind Demon. Get that crit online. Then I guess we'll go for Stepping the for Deathbringer. Sell the Ickable for it. No, we'll sell that. It looks like they're all going back to base. We'll take out all those beehives. Doesn't look like he has one over here. Okay, I'm going to put a level into my three here. Get the damage buff really quick. We get our tier two into Wind Demon. Ooh, Amuzu Cobb. That's going to be the shell, though, being used on Fafnir. Shell, a really strong relic, of course. Okay, we'll walk out of there. I guess uh, we got all the buffs and we got their shell out, but unfortunately the Sobek has to go back to base. With the, with the shell down, that means the Poseidon's going to be doing a lot more damage with his ultimate. Okay, Poseidon just leaped over the wall. Okay, Amuz and Cobb does not have the Sanctuary still. Hasn't gone back to base. Gone back to base and picked up the relic. Second relic. Probably will be doing that soon, though. Because he's pretty much just been... Be right back. Easy pickings for our team. Because of the lack of Sanctuary. Be right back. Be careful. Here, we'll clear up the mana buff. Okay, they're just poking down Sobek here. Okay, a bit of extra damage being done to Ogni. Good tower shot. He has the Warlock Sash as well as the uh, Book of Thoth, though. So he has a bit of... He's got a lot of stacking items. He has the Warlock Sash already stacked up, though. He still has to get the Book of Thoth stacked up, however. But it is going to give him... The Warlock Sash is giving a lot of the HP, which is good. I picked the chin size. He uses one right there, more of a zoning tool, it looks like. Basically, his attacks are starting to hit pretty hard against the squishier targets. If we get a few on Fafnir, it's not going to tickle either, so we need to look to these basic attacks and team fights. And their mana buffs are down. Fafnir's going really aggressive over here. Ooh, nice pull on, pluck on the Ogni. He is going to get his dash off, though. That uh, should be a dead Sobek, yeah. I'm not going to be able to get that guy. Oh, he should be able to get... Yeah, there it is. Amuzin Cobb going down. Add the Purific... Or the Sanctuary right there. I guess he just didn't decide to use it. Or maybe he used it already and I just didn't see it happen. Let's go over here and take this out really quick. If I can take out this Ogni. Okay, we're gonna be able to get the Ogni. He did get the damage buff though. I'm gonna go back to base. And pick up my Wind Demon. Tell this, get the tier 2 into the Deathbringer. Actually, I guess I should keep the Ickable for now before I get the full Deathbringer. I think it'll give us a bit more if we do that. I'm gonna go over here with my ultimate. I'm not actually going to jump in here. I will be able to take out the tower, though. Okay, it took him out pretty easily. Yeah, we can go for the Bull Demon King right here. We do have the Poseidon Ultimate, so if they do come in to even try and contest, we can just secure it really quickly with that. 
Oh yeah, we just melted that. They didn't even have a chance. Pick that up. Allow us to get the Phoenix pretty much for free here. They won't be able to defend. Without the Phoenix support because they're a bit too squishy right now. They have the Fafnir and everything, but Fafnir's not going to be able to peel their whole team off. Especially since he's the one initiating, so I pull our whole team off of them. So this is a free Phoenix. There it is. Nice, nice. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy. So by getting aggressive. Which is completely okay because I'm losing Cobb. If they if we pick him off, it could be game. Be careful. Be right Ongi does do a lot of damage with those bombs right now, though. He's pretty much full build. All he needs is the I guess is he going for the Spear Desolation? I think that's must that must be what he's doing, because he has the obsidian shard online. He's gonna be he's gonna be hitting super hard. He's already hitting really hard since he went for the double stacking build. Nah, he's gonna miss Amu's and Cobb. We should be able to still get this guy, though. Okay, I wasn't critting at all on my basic attacks against <laughs> Amu's and Cobb right there, but... We are eventually going to take him down. It did take a little while. But the sign's going on this Agni. Agni's dash is down. Not even gonna matter. He's gonna be taken down. Fafnir, I guess, is AFK? Is that what's happening here? Okay, well, that's game. <laughs> I don't know why Fafnir decided to AFK at the end there, but... Worked out for us as we were able to end the game. I could have went back to base and sold Ikaval for a Deathbringer through all that, but that's alright. We're going to be able to win it. Not bad, not bad. Really like the Apollo skin. SWC Apollo. Such a good looking skin. So clean. Pants. So tight. Okay, we're gonna go say GG. Report Faf. Yeah, I think Fafnir decided to rage AFK. I don't know why I guess their team just started he just didn't like the team's performance uh, I don't know harassment AFK yeah it seems it seems like that may have been the case because he didn't DC he didn't lag out so he was he was AFKing which is unfortunate but it happens a lot whenever you're playing with random people in normal games but that was still a fun game overall probably going to be doing the Amaterasu one soon as well the Amaterasu skin since we got the uh, Hades skin done, we have the Apollo skin done, so all we have left is the Amaterasu and the Kepri skins, if we want to look over that. I don't know if we're going to make a video for the Kepri skin, just really a recolor, so, but we could end up making a video for that skin, because it is a cool looking recolor, but let's look at the build really quick. What I just went for, the Deathbringer to sell the Ikeville for Deathbringer. Our build is pretty standard in terms of uh, Hunter builds. It's pretty much the build you go if you're not going for Transcendence or Death's Gloves, no stacking build. I really like the build we won. I think it does a decent amount of damage. It gives you a lot of boxing potential, but we didn't really have the option to box that much since they had Amuz and Cobb as their hunter, and Amuz and Cobb tends to box very well against Apollo because of the disarm and the amount of control he has on Joust with his beehives and the honey. Amuz and Cobb's just good on Joust and in duel on just because of he has so much control if you can't get ganked, and so you can't really get ganked that well on Joust, obviously. But we still ended up winning the game. Subek did a really good job against Amuzukov. If he can pluck Amuzukov, it's pretty much a death for him. But anyway, guys, this has been the SP Game with Apollo in this... Or in Joust, actually. So I hope you enjoyed. So please, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.